Welcome back to another Roll Ray episode, guys. And today, I'm going to introduce you guys to two new drop-offs. You may have seen them in the uh, past couple of videos, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't formally introduced them. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And before I even get into that, what I need you guys to go ahead and do is hit the subscribe button and become part of the Ray Squad, man. If you haven't done that already, hit the subscribe button. And for those of you who have already hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell so you don't miss the whole build on first up the rags to riches build and we got second up tdj you hear me what i'm saying and i ain't talking about the reverend let's get to it first on the list we got rod wave man aka the rags to riches build man. rags to riches rags to riches man. and this one we taking you guys all the way on the journey, man. I'm talking from start to finish, man. As you can see right here, it looks decent. This is an LS Monte Carlo, I believe it's an 87. And like I always tell you guys, down here in South Florida and Boynton Beach to be exact, SSs are cool, but LSs is what everybody rides, man. So this is what it is right here. These things are to die for. Um, got a little 350 in it. Got a little 350 in it. Uh, we all, I think, gonna sell it. I think I might keep it. Don't really need it, but. I ain't gonna lie, this thing just pearls, you know what I'm saying? You put a little double little fuel in the carburetor since the fuel tank got a hole in it. And, you know, she fires right up, man. But this is why we're calling it the Rags of Riches. The car obviously has been in the record already. Person who previously had it put some uh, new quarter fenders on it, hood, and all that good stuff, man. It still need to be adjusted and all that. But the car itself, no good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Man, check that out, man. Look at the door. We definitely need to get new doors on this thing. I'm talking about on both sides. Hinges need to be done also. This door is just, you know, not it, man. And what you're looking at right now is, you know, the progress that we started doing on this. We just go ahead, need to go ahead and uh, grind down some of these uh, welds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, etch prime it. Uh, let a coat of run line on it. And then we're going to dynamat it. So at the end of you know, you ain't gonna see none of this. But uh this is what we got, man. I'm gonna put a link to these floors in the description, guys. I'm not gonna lie, they're not personally my favorite. If you wanna see the ones that I typically use, I'm gonna put the video, or not the video, yeah, I'll put the video in the link below. You can go ahead and check out the other cars we've done with the floors we normally get. But COVID has ruined that, man. All those things on back order till like September, man. So this was another uh, company that I found that made them. They're not the best, but they enough to get the job done, guy. Enough to get the job done. Um, so this is what we ended up with right here. Uh, once we get situated with all this, we're going to take the frame off. You guys are going to see what comes next, man. But this thing right here, man, is definitely, I'm talking about, even the windows crack, man. Even the windows crack. Hear that? Windows crack. Must have had gauge pods right here, man. This car just needs to go. Just to need, uh, we just need to go through this car completely. Uh, obviously, you can see it's cracked right here. We can tell it's rust right here, which is pretty bad, man. If you guys know anything about these cars, man, it's what's normally typically under here is uh, spot welds and then lead. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, the, if the rust is that bad is that it's even coming through the lead, man. So, um, that's no bueno. And the trunk is the worst of it all, man. I kind of forgot to take these off the trunk. Let me go ahead and uh, get that off for you guys, man. Get that off for you guys. The trunk is the worst of it. Yeah. We ain't even playing. It's the worst of it. Check that out. Check this out. And I mean, all this thing runs... It's rotting out all the way through, all the way through, man. So I'm in the process right now of getting uh, the trunk. Um, getting, probably going to get a piece from up here, down across, and get the whole, uh, I don't know what you call this, man. This ain't the trunk lid, but I mean, it's the lid of the, it's, it's the deck of the trunk, you know what I'm saying? So if we can get that, we're good. Inside the trunk is pretty good, guys. I ain't, I'm not going to cap to you guys. Inside the trunk is good. But uh, definitely on this side, we still need some more work. Uh, same as the other, you know what I'm saying? Looks good, but I can see a little couple uh, bubbles, so that need to be ran through by the body, man. You know what I'm saying? Doors is definitely 
gone. I'm telling you guys, man. So if anybody knows, if anybody knows anybody selling uh doors in my area, man, go ahead and hit me up. The next one, man, TDJ, man. And we talking about Trinidad James, man. That white and gold thing right here, man. That's a 72 Caprice LSA built. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, we didn't build this uh particular LSA setup. But, you know, we, we are going through it. We got uh, the new brackets going in. Also, he didn't have AC. Our belt just came in for the supercharger. You know, we got to run them gates, belts on those things. And, uh, I mean, she she clean. Should have seen her before, man. Should have seen her before. If you want to see how she looked like before, man, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, man. That's at RollRay561. Because if you're following us there, you will definitely see how this thing look. And this won't be a surprise to most of y'all. You will definitely know that this thing's been here for a little minute. Over at our body shop, man. So go ahead and give us a follow there. And continue to subscribe to these channels, man. This thing is super clean. Super, super clean. I'm going to give you guys a look at it when it's out in the sun, man. Got some gold flakes in this paint, man. This thing is just crazy. Currently working on the wires. Getting these uh, lights back working. Vintage air. Uh, like I said, we got AC uh, brackets just finally mounted. We need to adjust the pedal on that. And, you know, we're going to get right to it. Right to it, man. So this one's on its way out, but definitely you guys going to follow us on the Raw Rage build, man. And as always, guys, this thing is still here, but it's on its way out too, man. Nothing crazy. Just a simple little, simple little LS swap, man. And we just, we just going to get right to it, man. Almost on its way out. Yep, she in there. She in there. Couple brackets fueling. Uh, get all the fluids in, and she she good. She out of there, man. <laughs> and she out of there, man. All the scrap from the floors I was just showing you. It was definitely. This ain't what you want. Yeah, that came out of there. This ain't what you want, man. That's right there. The engine's finna go in it. Finna give you guys a whole rundown on that. Y'all just stay tuned for that, man. You guys won't want to miss this, man. Won't want to miss this, man. So just stay tuned. It's not the typical LSA builds that we do. But, you know, I promise you it's going to be something special, man. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Be part of the Ray Squad, man. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. And join the family. We out. Rex the riches. The riches. Yeah.